So I'm putting together a readme for my advent of code solutions that I'm going to throw up on GitHub. And I started uh, copy and pasting in uh, the links to the YouTube videos that I have recorded for my solutions. And I only got two in, and I already realized this is going to be pretty tedious to like copy each one of those because I've got 20 videos already. Um, so I was trying to think if there would be um, a less painful way to do this. And so I took a look and YouTube has a little API where you can um, access things uh, such as playlist items, the, the items that show up in a playlist like this one. Um, and I don't even have to uh, really get into writing some sort of uh, program that can access the API and like mess around with figuring out my API key and all that, they, they've got a little try it now explorer. And so we can populate some values over in this try this API pop-up. And the required property is this part thing. And uh, there's a couple different options. I'm gonna go ahead and use snippet because I think that's gonna give us the most data. And then we can do filters. So this ID, I think, is a list of um, playlist items. But I'd rather just uh, specify the entire uh, playlist by referencing the string that I get out of the URL. So that'll reference this advent of code 2020 playlist. And I'll put that here in playlist ID. And then I know I'm eventually going to have at least 50 videos. So I'm going to say uh, max results 50. Um, and I think that's all I need for now. So then I scroll down and I run execute. It's going to make me, uh, you know, verify my GitHub account because, or my uh, Google account because it's going to use sort of my Google account's API key under the hood. And then it executes this thing and you can see um, all this data that's filled in. Um, let's see. Yeah, each snippet. So it's got an, an uh, items key, which is an array of these snippets. And each snippet has things like title, the channel ID. Um, you can scroll down. It's got a, a bunch about the um, thumbnail images. And then eventually, there's like a resource ID and a video ID. Um, so this has all the things I want. The video ID, so I can construct a URL. And then the, the titles, so that I can um, visually display a descriptive title. So I'm going to command A to select all of this. I'm going to copy it over. And I will just put that in a, a JSON file. So we'll say playlist items.json. And I'm just going to paste that in. So it's a lot of data. It's 850 lines. And I guess from here, I could start just like going through one by one, copying the title, scrolling down, uh, copying the video ID. But that's even, I think, a little more uh, tedious than what I'd like. So um, I'm going to save this file. And then I'm going to, uh, let's see, scroll up here a little bit. Um, I want to look at using a a uh, command line utility called JQ. It is a command line JSON, JSON processor. Uh, it lets us transform JSON in various ways, selecting, iterating, reducing, and otherwise mangling uh, JSON documents. This is a pretty cool example right out of the bat. You run uh, JQ uh, and then you map some price value and then you pipe that into some add function. It'll give you the sum of those things. Um, so it's a pretty powerful tool, and we can use it to uh, extract the values we care about, uh, maybe even do a little string concatenation with them. And uh, I think ultimately save us a lot of time bopping back and forth between the uh, browser and um, our, our readme document here. So that's enough of that. I'm going to um, I guess split open this right here, just so I have another terminal to play with, and 
we'll just start out by saying um, JQ playlist items, and that's just um, that's an error. Hmm. What is it? Zero is not defined. Oh, I guess we didn't give it a any sort of uh, input. I thought that would just uh, print out the JSON file. Um, let's see. That's interesting. So let's let's try actually giving an argument. What if I say, um, give me all the items in my uh, playlist items. Okay, so now, now we're printing something out. Um, but let's narrow it down a little further. Since items is an array, and we want to get values for each um, item in that array, we'll uh, give the brackets to tell JQ that it's an array. Uh, if we wanted just like a specific item, we could put like the first item or the fourth item, because it's zero-based. Uh, but we're going to say for all items, and then we want the snippet, and then we want the title. So if we run that, that's going to give us all of our titles printed out like that. And we could do something, uh, oops, we could do something similar uh, to get at the uh, resource video IDs. So I could say dot. Uh, resource ID dot oh we need snippet dot snippet dot resource ID dot video ID and that would give us all those um, but I kind of like to combine those two concepts so if I grab this and then go back up to snippet title I can just comma separate them and we get all of the video IDs, and then above that we get all of the titles. Um, so already we've really improved our situation in terms of, you know, we could just copy this right into uh, our README, and, and we'd already save a lot of time, but I think we can take this a bit further. Um, so instead of comma separating those, I think we can wrap them in uh, parentheses like these and start to do some string concatenation. Um, so we'll just uh, separate these by like a bar. How about, and if I run that, there we go. So they're all on one line for each respective thing. Oh, yikes, we're getting yeah, every single, we're getting like a cross product where every single ID is paired with uh, every single title. So that is not quite right. JQ combine two, yeah, two fields. Oh, they pipe users. Okay. So let's try that. If we pipe items, we say dot items, and we pipe that. And then for each of those, we get a snippet title and snippet resource ID. There. Now we're just getting or 20 things. Cool. And so then we can, um, yeah, I guess we can do a little bit more formatting. So I'm going to try and make these look mostly like markdown links. So I'm going to add in uh, an opening bracket. And then in here, instead of a uh, separating them by a space. I'm going to separate them by uh, the closing bracket, this opening parenthesis, and then something that I can search and replace, like base URL. 
get rid of that space and then wrap the whole thing in a closing parenthesis. Don't forget my plus for the concatenation. If I run that, yeah, there we go. Let's print these all out with strings. I kind of wish it didn't print it like that. And what if I pipe this to um, yeah, just a uh, I guess links dot md. And if I jump back up here. Yeah, that's pretty close. So I'll copy all that. Jump back to my markdown file. And I can paste that in here. And we can just get rid of all these parentheses, or the quotes, I mean. Can replace quotes with uh, nothing. There we go. And then the only other thing I want to do is replace uh, base URL with youtube.com slash watch underscore or and then the vpram. Okay. So we'll do a global replace base oops. This URL with uh, this thing. Oh, we might have some uh, that that might violate a couple different uh, um, regex rules. So I'm just gonna do a multi-select like that and say uh, paste. Okay. Delete that, and now we've got all of our links in this Markdown file. Um, yeah, so that's uh, how you can use JQ to uh, parse and transform some JSON out of a file.